Is there any change? Um, you know, we've had these, at least in one tiny part of the, the topic, uh, the UFO topic, yes. since the New York Times came out. Is there any change about the level of respectability and at least talking about that in conversations? I'll put it this way. Um, let me be, the short answer is no. Uh, in one case, yes, you may have read uh, in the news feeds recently that Avi Loeb, who is the chairman of the astronomy department at Harvard University, uh, has speculated that um, brightness fluctuations seen in a distant star may signal the fact that an alien civilization um, has uh, arranged a capture mechanism and is taking uh, energy out of orbit for the uh, needs of a society on a planet below. Um, and um, my reaction to that is, well, yes, that may be true, but it's not really the only possible answer, not by far. I think it's much more likely that there is simply a cloud of asteroids in orbit around this star, and uh, apparently this is the one star where they line up occasionally, and uh, the cloud of asteroids block out the light of the star, and what's the problem? But um, I don't want to comp cause confrontation and have just kept my thoughts to myself. Uh, you, you've seen the UFO reports that have been investigated in the theories from people like Jacques Vallée about the manipulation of space-time, that technology, if it is technology that can do this, they, these, this intelligence could be from anywhere. So here you are, as astrophysicist, you look at the size of the universe, you've heard the cliche a million times, the, the u universe is so vast, there has to be other intelligence out there. Um, is that what we're talking about, though? Is there intelligence out there coming here, or is some of the mysteries that we're trying to tackle, they're already here? What do you think? Uh, what I think is that we are there and they're here because it's one universe and it's all interconnected, and they can read our minds, and it's prob probably arguable that we are reading some of their minds. We have people channeling wisdom, uh, knowledge about the universe, which makes sense to me. And uh, where is such information coming from? Is it coming from other intelligent beings on planets, or is this part of cosmic intelligence's plan? So I can't answer the question beyond that. What's, what's your model for objective reality, then? Consciousness and objective reality. Does objective reality exist? Are those books here, or they are only here because I'm seeing them? Um, I believe it's a little bit of both, and I don't think that we have to look for the two extreme alternative positions when I believe the reality is somewhere halfway. I believe that the books are there to the extent that our cosmic intelligence knows that they're there. And I believe that um, the cosmic intelligence knows a great deal of basically everything. And it's, it's because cosmic intelligence is created in part by existence of physical structure. Um, UFO incident, incidents. Um, I wonder if they're like catnip. It's a display to get us interested, to get our attention. Uh, in fact, uh, that has come up, and I, I have to say I don't have any comment about that. Um, uh, I don't really know the, the entire purpose of the mission, except the way it's described by Susie Hansen in her book on the dual soul connection, where she's quite clear about um, the emergence of the need uh, perceived throughout the universe since the atomic nuclear detonations in Nagasaki and Hiroshima events at the end of the World War II. So, um, there are, in essence, these alien editorials. Uh, people interact with other beings who tell us, hey, you better, you better straighten up. Uh, yes, and... Um, Do you find them to be credible, those kinds of accounts? Yes, I think that they are sincerely felt by human individuals, but I'm not sure they are divinely inspired. Are they real, in a real physical sense? I, um, Tougher a question, huh? Uh, <laughs> that's a, a question that's too vague and imprecisely phrased for me to take it on. Okay. Well, uh, somebody reports an alien abduction. I'm taking on onto a spaceship. 
Do you think that those kind of reports exist in a physical world, that they are physically taken on craft from some other intelligence, operated by other intelligence? Quite honestly, I take that at the 95% level of competence. In other words, there have been so many reports, so consistently, and now the free survey giving us a comprehensive view of this, that I would say I am 95% sure of it, but not quite as sure of things that I see in equations. So. If you could summarize this, uh, this book, this survey, um, wh what is it a roadmap to? Is it a, suggesting to us we don't have to be afraid of this, but we need to understand it? I think that um, I'm very troubled by the method of disclosure that was adopted in the New York Times News article in 2017 because it was all secret information. There were no reporters present. There were no signatories to this present. And I'm concerned by the fact that everything in the report was coached in the word threat. The word threat came up in the context of we cannot meet the military threat here. And um, because there is nobody who's owning this within the military that we can ask these uh, very important questions to, I'm afraid that this managed intelligence might turn out to be a prelude to a budget submission for a hundred billion dollar program to weaponize space with, by the way, a ten billion dollar further maintenance fee. Um, and uh, I would like to see there be a real full government disclosure, including the opening of the files. Two other questions. One, do you think there's anyone in the government who understands big picture stuff, who studied UFOs, maybe some metal samples, maybe who knows what evidence they've got, who understands how that fits into the bigger picture and the nature of reality? Actually, this may not be a popular opinion, but I don't believe that there is anybody in the universe who can understand the important contribution of black holes to the storage of information in the universe, and also the way that the distant horizon of our universe, I'm talking about the edge of the universe, must be an inside out black hole, and that we actually observe within our universe the existence of other universes because we measure the vacuum zero point energy. So I believe that there isn't anybody uh, in the university establishment or in the government establishment that understands this broader picture. Broader picture of other universes, other realities. We can't get there right now, but we don't know if someone over there can get here. Uh, good point. And uh, perhaps that accounts for some of the very mysterious things that we have seen.